praying in there, so I'm all right now. I'm prayed up. And breaking overnight, that guy talking about how he was praying to God after an SUV crashed right through the front door of that 7-Eleven, trapping him inside. 10 News reporter Jared Aarons live in the East Village. And Jared, that store is open again this morning? It is just within the last hour, Jason. It opened back up. Still a lot of damage, though. You can see on the door frame all of that caution tape. There's no glass in this wall at all and some damage to the frame. Here's what police tell us happened. They say a driver made an illegal U-turn in the street here near Park and Market, lost control, and then went up on the curb, missed this parking meter entirely, drove right by it and into the wall. That crash left a couple people trapped behind a wall of broken glass. This is the kind of thing you only see on TV video, YouTube and stuff like that. So I was videotaping it myself because I was kind of like, wow, it was almost like I was dreaming. I guess if you got to be trapped somewhere, 7-Eleven's not that bad of a place. Judah Cavaness says he passed the time eating pizza, drinking a big gulp. Firefighters didn't want him or the clerk inside to try and get out. They were worried all that broken glass could fall on them and hurt them. It took about a half hour to get everything cleaned up this morning and set Judah free, and he took the whole experience in stride. I was uh, snacking, keep my nerves down. So I was snacking while I was in there to kill the time. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. No one was hurt. Police tell us after the crash, the SUV simply backed up and drove away. They tell us it's a dark Ford Explorer, but they don't know who was driving or where they are right now. Live in the East Village, Jared Aarons, 10 News.